Okay, so what I have here is an old uh, compact PC. I picked this up from a yard sale for about $25. And um, it has a, a dual core Celeron in, in here. Um, uh, we have a, I think this is a, I'm not sure, that looks like it is a dial-up uh, card. Uh, we have uh, PCIe 16X, um, 2 gigs of RAM, and then here we have a 160 gig uh, hard drive. Now, I went ahead and... Okay, so I ran into a, a problem here, actually. Um, this power supply does not come with any connectors uh, for SATA power. If you look at the motherboard, and this is what kind of reaffirms my suspicion, you'll notice it has two PETA connectors. So I think that this system was originally meant for PETA hard drives, which are the hard drives that were before SATA. Uh, as you can see, there's a, a one of those classic gray ribbon cables, and that's what's powering the optical drive. Of course, this is a NAS. We don't really need an optical drive. So the OEM, the manufacturer, included for the original hard disk a Molex to SATA power adapter. So that's how they were able to power the hard drive. So what I did was I got one myself. So what I'll be using, I'll be, I'll be um, using this extra Molux connector to give power to the new two terabyte hard drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, uh, I put it in the cage by the way. We're gonna have the 160 gig that holds open media vault. And then we're gonna have the two terabytes for storage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get everything hooked up. I'm gonna get it all put back together. And I'm going to go to my main PC, wake this thing up, and see if we can um, set everything up and, and, and use this hard drive. All right, the install of the hard drive went pretty well. I'm at my main PC here. And this is a tool called Wake Me Up Over LEN. If so, that PC, I gave it a static IP of 192.168.0.75. That is a static IP. I assigned it in the router. So what we're going to do is right click, wake up the selected computer. Do you want to wake up the selected computer? Hit yes. And then what that should do is turn on the PC. I got the NAS sitting sitting by the dresser. Um, it's powered on. All it has running to it is a LAN cable and a power cable. So it's nice and simple. All right, so I successfully powered the NAS up and connected it to the network. I assigned it a static IP in the uh, router. As you can see up here, it is 192.168.0.75. So that is the static IP of this uh, NAS, it's not going to change. So I'm going to start by setting up the file system, which is what you need. It's going to store all of your shared folders. So we're going to create it. Um, device, uh, drop down menu, and as you can see, it is detecting our new 2 terabyte hard drive. So we have to label it. I'm just going to call it NAS um, file system ext4. I think that's fine. That should be fine. You want to leave a format device? All data is deleted. That's fine. And so, I'm sorry, OBS, by the way, is not uh, cooperating, so you just have to bear with me when I use the camera. Um, I think that means everything's fine. Or no, it's still working. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't 
does take a while to get all this set up. Once it's done, it's going to be great. Alright, the file system has been completed. We have it right here. It's called NAS. is actually just a file sharing protocol and CIFS is Microsoft's proprietary version of the file sharing protocol. This is what you're going to need to do if, like me, you're using Windows. So you go up here. Um, most of this should be fine, um, but it, at least for me it was fine, but if you're doing something a little bit more advanced than what I'm doing, be sure to take a look at that. So what we do is we go up here to shares and uh, we're gonna create a new one. Um, shared folder. Uh, the only one that we have is NAS, so we're gonna use that. Uh, the name of the share, we can leave it as NAS, that's fine. I don't want it as read only because I'm gonna be using it, so I want to uh, be able to modify, move things. Uh, browsable, yes. On our existing ACLs, sure. And then hit save. So now we have a share and it is enabled. And of course you have to go over there and hit apply. Save the configuration changes. So what we did was we had a file system with a shared folder in that file system and then a sh and then a an, uh, CIFS share in that shared folder. So theoretically, if we go to the file explorer. Okay, so I ran into some problems and I don't really know what I did differently. I think it may have been restarting. Uh, but I finally got the NAS to show up on the network. So, um, we started by making the file system. Uh, go up to file systems. We made a file system. If it will load, uh, we call it NAS. You can see it has the full two terabytes, right? Well, it's two terabytes. Uh, then we had a shared folder within the file system. We called the shared folder NAS. And then finally, the... Uh, Windows CIFS protocol. Um, we had to make a share for that. Um, those are your settings. And then under shares, we have NAS. Alright, so after all that, those are the only things you need to do. If we pull up the Network Explorer, we'll go here and I'll click off so you can see it. You can see the NAS is right there. I'm gonna click. The glare on this is terrible, I'm so sorry. So you click on it, and then it has your folders, but this is one, this one's called NAS, open it up, and then there you go. It's got your folder in here, and then the camera's not focusing. It's got my, all my stuff in there. I'm doing a big transfer right now. All right, so that about wraps this up. Um, open Media Vault, it's a great uh, free NAS service. This one's a little bit outdated, but I'm sure the newer versions are a lot more intuitive. It's not hard to do. Honestly, your hardest part with this is going to be setting everything up in Windows so that Windows will detect it. Um, I do have a Linux system, and the Linux system picked this up immediately. No problems there. Um, but making everything work seamlessly in Windows is not always the easiest thing. But there are plenty of tutorials on there. Uh, I'll be linking uh, the website as well as the tutorial that I used to set this up. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.